little bit tired this morning, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a good weekend all in all. Um, Friday was pretty chill. Saturday was at a mate's house, Bry. Actually, the boy's vet, Jason, good oak. Um, and then later that evening, we got, um, I got a call and had to go and help a friend out with um, a car breaking situation. Um, and it, long story short, I only got home just before like three, half past two, three o'clock in the morning. Um, and <laughs> so there's curfew in South Africa, this whole lockdown thing, right? <laughs> and, um, and eventually the, the, the curfew is 11 o'clock. So eventually the cops come over to take the statements of what happened at about half past one-ish, I guess. And it's like, hey, dude, I've got to get home now. So I was escorted home by police. How cool is that? Fucking rock star stuff, eh? <laughs> um, yesterday, pretty chill. Um, good day. Try to sleep a little bit, but woke up this morning. You know when you open your eyes and they don't want to open? Or you think they're open, they're like, like stick. I think it was like that. But... Yo, that's about it, eh? From a weekend point of view, um, today, I'm going to start recording podcasts this morning. Just one or two calls to make now quickly. A couple of podcasts to record. Um, and then I've got the guides coming over at nine for a meeting, for content, and kind of just time to change the game up. It's enough now. Time to change. Um, and then I'm aiming to train at four, but the way I'm feeling now, I might be sleeping at four. So, um, Oh, one of the things I want to do with the guides mentioning them is uh, I want to, like every second Friday maybe, we'll see how this goes, but every second Friday, I want to get the guys together, and so literally, and I'll probably film this here as well, there's a little Portuguese place, literally, I can probably see it from here, it's like a good five iron for the golfers, and we're going to take the podcasting mic, we're going to sit down around a table, because Friday afternoon is pretty chill, I mean, it's not busy that time. And Jackson, hey. He's tearing up my fake grass. Jackson, hey. Anyway, um, and we're going to sit there at this table. <laughs> now he's playing with the pillow. And we're going to have two beers. And then, two beers first. And then we're going to start recording for an hour. No holds barred. Whatever happens. It could be work. It could be personal. It could be whatever. I think that'd be going to be quite fun. I'm looking for a name for that. Like, let's have a cold one, or let's share a beer, or I don't know. We'll see. But whichever of the guys are available, we'll sit around a table and just shoot the shit, which could be quite fun. And then we did it once, way back, episode 100 of the podcast. And we went downstairs at the office, and we did basically a Q&A with everybody. It's good fun. This ain't going to be Q&A. This is just shooting the shit and see what happens. Um, so working from home today and tomorrow, and probably Thursday. Uh, a lot of stuff to get done, video editing, content, and such. Uh, as you guys know, every Wednesday for us at Wild Eye, we're doing content days. So last week we went to Cirque. Uh, that was fun. We should, we've got compiled all the uh, footage, shit, the footage from there. And this week, I'm going to chat to the guys this morning. But one of the things is I want to go to the vet where my boys go. Because I had, um, um, I visited with him over the weekend. And go and interview them, go back of house when they're doing their work. So it could be quite interesting. But we'll see. Um, what else? Oh, this morning. Fuck, this is... So I open Instagram, and uh, there's uh, a message. You get these often about, oh, this guy posted your image or video or whatever. And normally it's not a problem. It's like, you know what, whatever. But if people and companies steal images, put their own WhatsApp number on it, um, post it on their feed, and try and sell safaris, that's not right. East Safaris is their username, East Safaris. So they took a video I posted on my reels of elephants mating, put their WhatsApp number over it, posted it on theirs, and this hell of a long caption, trying to sell a safari. You're a dick. You, at least it's safaris. And I scrolled down, and I know a lot of content on there is not from them. So that's just sad, man. Like, how? And there's even one, fuck, there's even one... Of Michael, my Michael Lapsa from the Wild Eye, with guests. So Mike took like a selfie, and they posted that on their feed, and they're trying to sell their safaris. Not cool, man. I sent them. I sent them a a, 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 a direct message. Normally does shit. It's not going to mean anything. People like that. Yeah, 
Anyway, um, what noch? What noch? Oh, <laughs> there was a funny comment on one of the videos last week where um, the David Yarrow thing, and I said he should be jealous of me, what, what. So someone said uh, we should do that in Afrikaans, that little rant, if you will. So later this week, I'm going to record a podcast with you, Han, um, about the whole Yarrow and ethics and wildlife and photography. And I think we might do a section of it in Afrikaans. Because, like, <laughs> a lot of you guys might not understand this, being international and all. But Afrikaans is quite a strong, like a guttural language, all those sounds, right? So if you go off at someone in Afrikaans, you feel it. You feel it. Like, <laughs> if you're under 18, leave now. Uh, like, if you, um, like, if you in English say, tell someone to fuck off. Like, okay, I'm going. But as Iman for you in Afrikaans say, fuck off. It's different. It is different. <laughs> anyway, random. Sorry, that was super random. But um, yeah, Johan and I'll do a little chat on that uh, and do some of the Afrikaans. I didn't the front eight. So you know, Afrikaans means that you're not I should do. Scrape it for me in the comments, I should Afrikaans can understand. Um, what else? I actually had something cool I wanted to share with you, but my brain feels tired. You know, when you're walking in water and you're like, that's what the brain feels like today. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. Uh, I'm going to start getting podcasts and stuff done. And then I'll chat to you all tomorrow. Uh, what do we do? Highlight of the... Sorry, question of the day. What was the highlight of your weekend? Was it Valentine's Day? Was it sleeping in? Was it getting a training session in? Was it the fourth glass of red wine? What was mine? I had a great time with Jay. Jason, the vet. Um... So that was cool. Um, yeah. So yours. What was your highlight of the weekend? I'm going to go now. Have a good Monday, guys. Chat to you soon. My name is Jerry. I'm from Wild Eye. Bye.